The Indiana Fire Marshal's Office is working now to confirm an official cause of that deadly explosion in Columbia City over the weekend. Jeff Newmeyer is live from the scene where he talked with neighbors who were rocked by that big blast. Jeff. Yeah, Brian, you know, it was known to locals as the old R&D Motorsports building, but the warehouse bears no resemblance now of what it used to look like. The blast and fire Saturday around 9 a.m. not only destroyed the site back there, but it broke garage doors and windows close by. Now, Indiana State Police reported Saturday that the explosion appeared to be triggered by some sort of natural gas leak and that there's nothing new to suggest a different cause, according to ISP. The state fire marshal's office, however, telling me today its investigators are still searching for answers to important questions about the incident. The blast was felt in some cases miles away. The fire following was intense. We're told there was a pet shop being remodeled up front and that the members of a motorcycle club used space in the rear where the man who died was found. Three adults, according to police, were in or around the building at the time. Two people got out with minor injuries, but the third person, a man, could not be rescued. We spoke to neighbors still marveling at the power of that initial blast. So I come running outside and our neighbors were running over to me and asking if everything okay. And I'm just like, what's going on? We'll look outside and there's a huge smoke cloud, black as can be. Boom, boom. Immediately I ran out and when I come outside, I seen that thing was leveled already and on fire. And I heard a scream that, help, I'm trapped. And I didn't hear nothing else. And so, and it just kept, there were small explosions afterwards. Uh, it blew my garage door down, uh, off, blew our neighbor's garage off over here. Uh, I've heard reports that the, the current owners um, really were looking to do something good with it, and, and obviously that's, that's taken a pretty hard hit. So I'm not sure whether they'll try to carry on with it? Yeah, I don't know. We've not had contact with them, but, um, but, but obviously it's a, it's a major tragedy, not only for the life that's lost, but certainly the building itself. Now, state police say the raging fire did not permit rescuers to get inside and save that man who was trapped in the burning debris. Brian, the Whitley County coroner has not released positive ID on the victim and may not for a while, we understand, because of the destruction that you see back there. Back to you. All right, Jeff Newmeyer with the new details tonight in Columbia City. Thanks, Jeff.